Hey everybody, it's Herc Magnus, and today we're gonna talk about prettifying your links, or prettifying, or however you wanna say it. A lot of people know about a plugin called Pretty Links, and it's pretty simple. It takes ugly links, like affiliate links, that are long and full of characters, and turns them into nice and easy, beautiful links that you can use. Well, Project Supremacy V3 has that feature built in, so what I wanna do is show you how to use PSV3 to start tracking your affiliate links, and using them externally on your blog as well as internally on your blog and how to track them, set them up and manage everything. So let's head over into Project Supremacy V3 and we'll show you how you can do this for every single one of your domains. All right, so here we are inside of Project Supremacy V3, and we are under the V3 plugin and link management, and you can see I'm obviously already tracking a bunch of links, so let me open up one of the existing links to show you how it works, and then we'll dive in how to create new links. So for the first link here, we obviously, I am prettifying a link that is to attend one of our webinars, so I'm just gonna open up the edit shortcode function and show you what's in there. So the first one is an internal name. It's basically a name that you want to display on the link and I just call it Webby for simple. We create a short code name so that when we want to use this link on our blog as a short code, we would use this short code link. And what's really, really nice about short codes is let's say if we wanted to have this link on multiple places within our blog, well, instead of using the actual link, we would just use the short code. Now, why is that important? because if the link ever needs to change, we only have to update the link and the short code will automatically update across your blog in every place you used it, which is a lot better than going back and trying to find all the places you, you, you've used that link and then updating that link. So it's updating in one place for everywhere instead of updating, updating everywhere. It saves you a lot of time. The title of the link is simply what you would want to title the link as if it were an anchor text link. So if you wanted the word to be clickable, this is what the word you would use is and it would become a clickable link. And the other option is you also can, instead of choose a text-based link, you can actually use an image-based link and you can see that's what we've done here where all you'd have to do is supply an image URL and then wherever you use the short code, the image will actually show up instead of a text-based link. And then of course, this itself would be the URL that you want to send people to, whether it be an affiliate link or a webinar registration page like I'm doing here, or you can even track links other to other places in your blogs. Um, I haven't gotten to the tracking yet, but we do track links. So. Now the options for each of the links are basically built for SEOs that kind of want these extra elements built into their links. So number one is, do you want to open this link when it's clicked in a new window? Typically it's good to do that with affiliate links because it leaves your site open on the other window, which increases the dwell time that people have on your site. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty handy and then it also doesn't take the attention completely away from your site because people will still have your site open even though when they click on the affiliate link they're going to go to a new site in a new window but when they are done with that because people have short attention spans and they close that window and bam they're back to your site which is super helpful next is do you want the link to add a no follow attribute so that way if you have an affiliate link on a page that you're an SEO and you're building a lot of links to that page to try and bump it up in the search engines, you're not gonna lose any of that juice through the affiliate link because you're gonna mark it with a no follow link. And then finally, the mask URL is extremely handy because instead of showing um, in the bottom right when you hover over link, it kind of shows you where that link is pointed. Well, masking it will actually give it a nice looking internal style link. So for instance, we're on the domain project supremacy v3.com and when I create a link that goes to go to webinar or an affiliate link, when people hover over my short code, it'll actually mask the URL and prettify it. So that's making it pretty um, with a project supremacy link. So you definitely typically want to have all three options turned on, but of course we do make it your choice which ones you'd like to use. So once you filled out all the data, you click save and the link will show up here. Now on this page, you're looking at all the links you have set up 
And here's what I'll cover on some of these. If you hover over the link, you'll see two things. Number one, you can copy the short code and then that way when you go to use the short code in your blog posts and pages, your link will show up, whether it be a text link or an image link. So that would be internally using the link, meaning using your affiliate link or your, your pretty link somewhere within your blog. But we also want you to be able to use your affiliate links outside of your blog. So say you're posting that link in an email or you're sending it in an autoresponder, which is extremely handy, or you're posting it on social media. So one of the things that I recommend, I do a lot of emailing, um, is always using a pretty link or, or a Project Supremacy V3 masked link in your emails because that way, let's say you send an email out and you want it to go to a webinar registration page, but once the webinar is over, people still click on those links in the emails. So what you can then do is come back and change the URL to the replay page and that way the emails that you'd sent in the past that people read that you know it's too late for the webinar to be registered, well, now you just have to update the link inside of the Project Supreme CV3 link. And now when people click on that old email and they do want to register for the webinar, even though it's over, well, you've changed the link now, but it now redirects instead to a replay page, which is very, very handy. The other nice thing about this is a lot of times people send out emails and they, they actually get the links wrong or something. So doing it this way, when you're using a masked URL, um, to put in your emails to send to the place you want to go. You have the ability to change the direction of the link after the fact, which is extremely handy in those scenarios. So uh, that's what the copy the mask URL for. And you can see how actually pretty this link is. This is a link to register for a webinar, but you can see it's v3.projectsupremacy.com, which is the site we're on. And then question mark go equals webby. So it's a very, very nice, pretty link and we can make it go wherever we want. Share this in emails, share this on social media, share it on autoresponders, whatever. Uh, we also track the impressions, the clicks, and the conversions of each of your links. And we're actually gonna extend this so that you're gonna get two sets of conversions. One will be how many times the link is showing up on your site as a short code and clicked. So that would be this set of data, but we're also going to add a second set of data to show you when you're using the masked URL, how many people are seeing the masked URL, be it in email or in autoresponders or in social media and click, uh, get you that click data and conversion rate data as well. So we're gonna add a second set of stats. And then of course we have the button to actually look at your stats. So we're actually gonna have a tab here for short code and one for um, masked affiliate links so that you can look at the data of your um, or the statistics for each of your links. We have the ability to duplicate a short code. So if it's something similar that you just want to change one thing on, you can go ahead and duplicate them. Of course, there's the edit button and then there's the delete button. So those are all the settings for each of the links. Now, we also have another tab here for a short code setup. And what that allows you to do is change the look of your link. So when you in, when you install Project Supremacy V3 on any domain, it's obviously going to start with your domain name and now you can set up how you want this extra part to look. So your URL URL mask is basically this part here where it says question mark equals go on your link. You can make that say anything. It could be question mark refer go to recommends, links, whatever you want. All you'd have to do is just type in what you want your mask to be, and then that will update that. Now the equals internal name part is what you want your link to be named. It makes it easy to remember. So for instance, in Webby Registrar, if we go back into here, you can say we named it Webby. Now by default, we'll number it for you. So it would be like a one, two, three, four, five, depending on how many links you want. But those kind of become hard to remember. So if you use an internal name that's easy to remember, you can always know what your masked affiliate URL is gonna be. So like for instance, um, CSS Hero is a CSS software that we have as an affiliate program. You can see there's the affiliate link. If I go to copy mass URL, you can see question mark go equals CSS hero. That's a pretty easy um, affiliate link 
to remember if I don't want to have to log into my blog. I'm always going to use Go because that's how I've set it up and then I just choose the internal name um, to be whatever I want that would be easy to remember. But of course, if you don't remember, you can always copy uh, the masked URL to the clipboard and you can use it that way once again in your emails and social media. Now, the last point that I want to make about the masked URL and social media is this. If, if I head over to Facebook and I'm on my profile and I now want to paste in my masked affiliate link, I'm just going to press uh, control V and enter it. Now what's going to happen when it populates is it's actually not going to populate with v3.projectsupremacy.com. It's actually going to go right to the end of the line and load the CSS hero data. Now whether it loads a nice image and description is actually up to what this website CSS Hero has as their open graph settings. But in this instance, you can see they have somewhat of a nice open graph setting. So now what I can go and do is go ahead and delete that link and say, hey, you know, has anyone checked out CSS Hero? Pretty awesome software, yada, yada, yada. And what it displays is actually CSS Hero. And I'm gonna go ahead and post this. And the nice thing about that is once it's posted, anyone that's looking at that isn't going to think that you posted an affiliate link. It's going to think that you posted a link directly to CSS Hero when in reality, if you look at the very, very bottom and I'll zoom in on this video, when I'm hovering over that link, it's actually the Project Supremacy V3 link. So that when you click on it, it's going through your link tracker, your pretty link and still takes you to where you want to go, but it does it through your affiliate link. So using Project Supremacy V3 pretty links is a great way to share affiliate links on social media and completely hide the fact that you're doing that. So once you have a bunch of affiliate links and other types of links set up in here, I want to show you how you can use the short codes when you're building out pages and posts. So I'm just going to go over to our post section in Project Supremacy and I'm actually going to create a new post just for the example of this and show you how affiliate links work. So we're gonna just do test affiliate link, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is you can see that right here we have four Project Supremacy shortcodes. Well, this one is affiliate shortcodes. So what I'll do is click that and you can see custom. I'm gonna add the Webby register shortcode and then I can choose an anchor text, but I already know in my mind that that's an image shortcode. So I'm just gonna use that. And then I'm going to add another affiliate link. So I'm going to do the CSS hero one that we have. So I'm going to add that as a short code as well, but I'm going to change the anchor text a bit. Click here for CSS hero. And then I'm going to click OK. All right, so you can see I've added two affiliate links here. I'm going to center them. And now I'm going to save that page. So I'll go over and scroll over, update the post. So we'll publish it. And then we're going to go look at it and show you what that short code looks like on the page when it's live. So we're going to click on this link here to actually look at this new post. And you can see we use the short codes. And here we go. You can see we now have the image showing for the register now. And we also have a text link for click here for CSS hero. And once again, if you scroll or look in the bottom left of my browser, you can see where we have the affiliate link masked. So it's actually not showing that it's an affiliate link. It's showing as if it's an internal link, um, which is another great thing for Google. It's not showing off as an affiliate link. It's because they don't really like affiliate links, but as an internal link, it's much, much better. So here's an image uh, example, and then here's a test example. So once again, if you click on it, it does open in a new window so that when the user is browsing this, they're still open in your other page and increasing the dwell time. So um, you can use the short codes anywhere you want on your post pages, widgets, anything like that. And once again, if you ever need to change them, just go back to your link manager and update the affiliate link and your short codes can remain in place and then the link will be updated automatically for you. So hopefully you guys like the prettifying of the links using Project Supremacy V3. Every domain that you install it on will brand all your affiliate links to your domain with complete control over the way it looks and acts. So hopefully you like this guys. If you want a free trial of Project Supremacy V3, click on the link below. It will allow you to manage up to 50 websites for free forever. 
and you'll get a 14 day free trial of all the premium features. So we'll talk to you guys soon and hopefully you have a good week, day, weekend or whatever. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.